What's going on guys? Uh, we are heading to the hop right now. We're going to be training a uh, little chest, some shoulders, and triceps. This is my uh, push day. And uh, we've increased the intra workout, which I think I told you guys. I'm at two scoops now. So one scoop is uh, 20 grams of carbs. So I'm at 40 grams of carbs intra workout. Um, yeah, and it feels really good. Like, I just have a lot of energy. The pumps are really, really good. And uh, you do two scoops too, right? Always, year-round. Always, yeah. yeah. I uh, work my way up, like, in the off-season. So I go from, like, one scoop to one and a half, then to two scoops. It's, uh, it's a good way to get those, like, uh, fast-absorbing carbs in, too. So uh, I really, really am enjoying that. It's going to be a good workout. You're a little mellow, so you better get going. Yeah, we'll get after it. So you have, you have, we haven't talked about this. You have two trips left. Yeah. Arizona this week, like an interview. And then you're going to like Columbus? Yeah. Columbus so, in like two weeks. Yeah, Bullfrog Nutrition event. That's July 9th or 10th, something yep. like that. So yep. I'll be in Toledo, Ohio then. Um, but then you come back. Yep. And we are like... I think it's like 22 weeks out from the Olympia mm. when you're back. Yep. So the plan is like no more business traveling. No. I mean, never say never, but you've done a lot of trips. I've, so I've you're doing less. So many planes. Yeah. So you're doing less, really cutting back. Yeah. Because you actually had pretty good workouts, but yeah. traveling does impact it. Definitely. So we're just going like full training camp mode. Yeah. You got like six to eight weeks of just beast. And then the cut starts. But we've got our split set up. Yeah. We've got our daily schedule set up. The schedule is, like, really important. Um, I love the fact that we have, like, cell phones now. We can all, like, be interactive. And anyone can get a hold of you any time of the day. But I swear to God, that cell phone is getting put on, like, work mode or silent yeah. mode. And, like, during gym hours, like... When I start preparing, like at home, you guys know I have like my cupboard that is my like missy like workout area. So once that cupboard opens, it's like boom, it's like fucking go time. Like no more like oh I'm tired or anything like that. It's just go time. Um, so as soon as it's that, I'm clicking my phone off. I love you all, my tubes. You guys know that. Um, and it's not so much tubes, but like, you know, just yeah, it's not tubes. daily you life. Be it's social media. You don't need to check for two hours. No, no, for sure. But stay, you got to stay away from text. Too. Yeah. It's, yeah uh, just go know. dark. But then my point of this, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm tricking you here. Yeah. Um, so when you're back from Toledo, mm -hmm. we're going full, um, we're going like full training camp mode. Yeah. Every workout scheduled. We yeah. know what we're doing. I think you should go, that's the start of like your prep. Yeah. And I think we go weekly. Who cares on YouTube? Oh yeah, okay. Who cares how many, I don't care how many fucking views it gets, honestly. Crickets. Like it's, cr yeah, I watch, I don't give a shit, yeah. but it's fun uh, to kinda, cause I watch them and you go on trips and stuff. It's like, I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to know what happened in LA. Yeah. <laughs> We probably texted 50 times and FaceTimed, right. but I still don't know what happened. Like, so I'm always like pumped to see. But anyway, so yeah. I think when you get back from Toledo yeah. and we start that Monday, 22 weeks out, yep. you try to start going weekly. I will do that. Who cares if it's fucking crickets? Yeah. We don't give a shit. I don't even want your YouTube to grow. So that's not my motivation. Yeah. I just think it's cool to document it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to be epic. I don't even think people know what's coming. I don't think they know what's coming either. Yeah. I think your freaking hormones are back aligned. Your body was gassed. I and was... you still got, you're still second. Like, <laughs> you're still like right fucking there, like battling where people are like, oh, she won or so she won. It was close. And you were like 70%, 80%. If that. Yeah. yeah. If All right. That. So anyway. We get back. We're going full training camp. It's like, what, what, what should we call it? I don't know. We need a name. Trescott training camp. I don't know. We need something. We'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. And it's going to be weekly YouTubes. Yep. I'm committing you to the tubes. Okay. <laughs> it is now on video. 
Maybe, you, can, you can edit this out if you don't agree. Maybe the tubes, you guys can think, if you can think of like a cool name. Yeah, training camp. Yeah, training camp. Something, name. we need a training camp name. Yeah. Because we've been building for this. Yes. And these workouts like today are building up to that because we're going fucking hard. Do, do we disclose like that we've been in the process of a... Oh, wait, where are you going? Like a new fitness routine or let's oh, save no, it. Oh, no, do not disclose. Okay, let's save it. Yeah, we are but, well, we are well underway. Guys, it's been like almost, I mean, I've been doing unseen footage for you guys, like on the tubes um, that I'll make like at the end of this Olympia prep. You guys know how I do those videos, but when you see what we've been doing for Hello. this Hello, yep. It's yep. like, just all I'm saying, if you're not going to be in, Las Vegas for the Olympia. Be in Las the- Vegas. Come on, tubes. <laughs> it's fucking Las Vegas. Come to Las Vegas or buy the pay per view because it's going to be like. Oh, it's going to be awesome. This, yeah. I know people are always like, oh, this is my best routine. This is my. Guys, this is my. This is going to be my best routine. Yeah, and the fitness division is stacked. It's going to be good. Yeah. And I think you have made some changes that are going to pay off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go work out. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, talking to my mirror like I love you so much Curving all my critics like I heard you, so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Tally all the f- I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Season, I broke records while I lose leaf And I'm coming now, my roof leaving Don't give a f- I don't care, uh Did the f- for my lonesome No wonder now I'm on one No shortcuts on that long run All I really want is my share, uh Get on my god, on my told him it's nothing In the discussion f- all them feelings I throw all my pain on percussion The disgusting I hear them bragging about that they did And it do not move me, not in the least They ain't been dropping no seeds in the sub But swear that you on my spot at the feast I've been on go mode, show mode, showboat, robo, wave ride Cool shawty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old I'm on they now, can't get a pass now I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now It's trash now, I'm a spaz out I've been killing my lows and living on highs You see in the skies the proof You can just see in my eyes that there is no lies I cannot disguise the truth I've been duck dog, getting sick in my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chuck song. Get the f- on with that. Hey, I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that. Got a hawk guy on the ball cat. Get the f- out of my face. Uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving all my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f- I ever gave on my head. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. I love you so much Curving all my critics like I heard you So what? You can't kill my confidence I think I'm the man Tally all the f- I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me That's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence I think I'm the man We don't give a f- That's what they don't understand I'm back again like flu season I broke records while losing and I'm coming now, I'm my roof leaving. Don't give a f- I don't care. Uh, did the f- for my lonesome. No wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. Uh, get on my god, on my totem is nothing. In the discussion, f- all them feelings I throw on my pain on percussion. The disgusting. I hear them bragging about that they did, and it do not move me, not in the least. They ain't been dropping no seeds in the sub, but swear that you on my spot at the feast. I've been on go mode, show mode, show bow, 
Bobo wave ride. Cool shorty too, naughty pool party wet for the face ride. Any your penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money too funny, old shorty talking about old. I'm on eight now, can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now. It's trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. You can just see in my eyes that there's no lies. I cannot disguise the truth. I've been duck dog getting Color duck sauce on the new couch with my chucks on. Get the f on with that hate. I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that. Got a hot guy on the ball cat. Get the f out of my face. Uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. Okay guys, so I've had multiple clients uh, over the past couple weeks here check in and you know, they, they talk about um, their spouse, their boyfriend, their significant other, just kind of not being on board with them um, during their prep and their off season. And one really important thing, especially in the off season is, it sounds cliche, but like that's where champions are made. Like you gotta really like. It's good to be you dedicated. You are embracing that this off season. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's really like. I don't want to say easy, but it's easy to dial it in for those twenty weeks to prep for a show. But then it's like, what are you doing those other like, thirty something weeks during the year? Um, so I I think it's really important. And you and I were kind of like chatting about this, so I'm like, let's set up the camera and let's like talk about it. Um, cause from a relationship standpoint, like it's your, your significant other doesn't have to do like the prep with you and stuff, but it's really important. I think that they mentally be supportive of you and your goals and your dreams. Um, I'm super blessed and lucky that <laughs> you live the lifestyle and you support me 100%, but I think so. I think like, look, I'm never going to be. Like Mr. Olympia, I'm never even gonna fucking compete. Right. All right. My wife is like Miss Fitness Olympia, two-time Arnold champ, the whole thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> get after it. Um, so I do think at the bottom, at the core issue, um, I think it brings out insecurities in the other person. When the so other if one person is like shape? competitive, getting in shape, all this drive, all this motivation, mm. and the other person makes you feel like a fat slob. Like we've talked about, like outside. Like friends and family who mean well. Yeah. I think it's tied to that. Um, so I think the important thing is it's you have to make it like it's a team. Yeah. So the significant other has to feel like a part of um, and that's that's the role of like the competitor in a way. Um, it can't be a selfish sport. You're the one that has to restrict food. You're the one that has to do cardio. You're the one that has to train. Right. But at the end of the day, if you're doing all those other things, make the other person feel like they're part of it. Yeah. So you can't make them feel bad for not working out. No. You can't make them feel bad for not eating healthy, mm -hmm. right? That's their own decision. Yeah. Um, and then on the flip side, they shouldn't make you feel bad for doing 60 minutes of cardio and going zero carb. Yeah. But if you feel like you're part of it, um, then I just think it's, it's a lot easier. And I think if people, instead of getting angry about it, mm -hmm realize that their significant other who's not supportive is in like the vast majority of people. Yes. So it's your job as the competitor to bring them on board. Yeah. To Don't them. resent them. Don't get mad at them. Figure out a way to get them fucking on your team. Yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to be your significant other. Everyone complains about their significant other. No, it's your fucking job to get them on board. Yeah. And I think that starts with like communication guys. Yeah. Like you need to be able to like talk about it with your partner and not be like walking on eggshells and um, not in a fight. Yeah. Not in a fight. Don't bring it up in a fight. Yeah. Like instead of getting upset 
like the, the significant other gets mad at you because you can't go out to eat or you have to bring a you know a, a sandwich bag with diet food yeah out to a restaurant or something and then that makes that resents them don't bring it up then right right bring it up just eat your sandwich bag full of food and deal with one night of awkwardness yeah the next day very my happily, life is awkwardness yes, yes. Very <laughs> our, our life <laughs> stuffing a turkey burger yeah in, in, in your cleavage <laughs> yeah because uh, they won't search you no uh, they won't you know, feel it's up all, the boobs. that's just part of it but no so the next day bring it up and instead of like hey asshole don't make me feel like no yeah. say you know what would really help me is if you if we were more of a team yeah you know because you have to realize it's your job to get them on board yeah it's not their job to be on board yeah Bob. you have to find a way the trigger and mostly it's insecurity mm. um yeah so you got to find a way to bring them on board because it's so much easier to prep and diet yeah when you're in a good me mental like headspace and you know you have positive momentum in your life and it's just so much easier your sleep is better recovery is better I just think the take home for me is I think so many people like, oh, my spouse is not supportive. So they, they, they blame it on the spat. Like, yeah. Or like talk the, amongst like their yeah, friends and ask yeah, opinions oh God, yeah, and shit. Event, and, oh my God, my freaking boyfriend doesn't like body or whatever. Yeah. You know, um, no, take it as it's you. Mm. You have to find the trigger. They are your like person. Yeah. You guys are a team. Yep. Find the trigger, find the way, find the way in to make them feel like part of the team. Yeah. And most of that is, one, they're either insecure, gel, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so that's actually kind of easy to fix. And yeah. then two, if they feel like they're missing out, they have, comp because you're not eating with them, <laughs> then they have completely lost sight. Um, you know, they're not the ones having to do the cardio. They're not the ones uh, having to train all the time. Yeah. But you can express that in a way, not angrily, yep. not in an argument. Like, hey, I really need your help. Mm -hmm. um, put yourself in like that vulnerable position, which no one really likes to do. Yeah. But remember, this is not like your enemy. This is not the general public. Yeah. The general public, fuck them. Yeah. Right. Your circle of friends, your fair, you know, some family. Yeah. Um, you can't pick them. <laughs> <laughs> your coworkers, they're never going to understand. Can I have a squig of this? Yeah. Um, that's true love when you get a sip of my rock star. Um, you know, so if you're making me lose my train of thought, but the people you, who aren't in your inner circle, you can fuck them all to hell. Like, who cares? You're yeah. not trying to get them. This is your person. So you can be vulnerable. You can take a step back. You can say, hey, this really means a lot to me. Um, come up with a strategy to get them on board. Too many people, man, you said it perfect. They vent to all their friends and family Yeah. Uh, about how, you know, their boyfriend doesn't support him. Well, have you talked to your boyfriend? Yeah, does, <laughs> not does in your an boyfriend argument, know about not it? Not in an argument? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So. I, I also think that's kind of like a maturity thing too. You know, as you, you know, go through relationships and you find your soulmate, you find that one, it becomes a lot easier to have those conversations with yeah. that person. Yeah. And, you know, that person, you know, hopefully is supportive if you're, you know, married to them in a serious relationship. Hopefully they'll support you in, in your decisions. Yeah, this is just marriage and maturity advice. Mm -hmm. um, if you really have a problem with something or a problem with your significant other, don't bring it up in a fight. Yeah. Bring it up in a non-fight. Right. And you will probably fix it. Yep. Remember the random time I just saw, I saw those questions that I thought were really good? Yes. Oh my God, that was like... Oh my God, that, that was... That was so good. Yeah. It, it was like, they were questions like, what could I do to show more love? I mean, some of them were cheesy and some of them were really good though. Yeah, we were and, we were in Wisconsin, yeah, I think, sitting just in sitting in the hotel room. I yeah. think I was doing computer work and you were... Watching TV. Watching TV, yeah. something, yeah. whatever. And Matt just like brought it up. He was like, babe, I got a couple questions for you. I'm like... Like in the hot seat, like oh shit, like what is this? I didn't bring my phone with me. I would literally read the questions. Yeah, I had the questions. They are so good let's, for like a relationship. Let's try to remember them. All right, so, tubes, remi remind us. <laughs> yeah, ask you know yeah. when you're not in a fight because it could go bad. Or or because I had to like reassure, like I had to say to you, if because if you just yes. randomly like I have a couple questions, people instantly get like defensive. Defensive. Like, oh man, where's this coming from? Yeah. So I had to say. 
I have no agenda here. Mm -hmm. I, I am not trying to get at anything. Um, I am just super curious. Like this, this would seem interesting. And it yeah. turned out to be like a 30 minute amazing conversation. It was awesome. And we both felt really good at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them were like, no, you can't be any better. Yeah. Right. And some of them were like, oh yeah, I wish we would do this more. But it was like. It was like, is there anything, like question one, is there anything I'm doing right now that annoys you? Yeah. That was like those type of things. Yeah. yeah. And then what was another one? So you one? can't do this when you're fighting. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would <laughs> you have be. have to do this when you're in a good right. space. Or, um, and it can't be like threatening, like you're trying to trick the person. Right. Um, because as, as men, we're always uh, aware that we're about to be trapped. <laughs> uh, so our guard is up, like, yeah. oh, shit, it's trapping me. Uh, no, so we, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was, that was good. So we'll read the questions sometime. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. All right. I think we're good. But this yeah. Random. Is this going to make the final cut? I believe so. I'm always curious. Like, sometimes we do this random stuff, and then I watch your YouTube when you upload it to see if it made the cut. Um, all right. So, this will be interesting to see if yeah. this makes the cut. All right. Cool. On to the next vlog. On to the next. Boom. Oh. Oh. Man. Go. <laughs> babe, babe, I'm filming tubes. Tubes. Oh, how are you? Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> Love you. Love you. How was Vegas? Vegas was awesome. I'm sad I couldn't go. Yeah. So Thanks. check this out. We were supposed to go. My partner at crime couldn't come. Had to cash out. And then there was a big game today. Um, Alaska, who we usually fly with, was booked. Right? Didn't have our normal flight out. Had to go to Delta. Delta cancels our flight. Uh, at least they canceled it a couple days in advance. Uh, this is a long story. I'm getting to the point, though. So then I just had to go. And I had to go the day before, so I had to leave yesterday. So I book a room at Circa, because um, I didn't have time to like call and try to get it comped. They freaking comped me anyway. Circa Sports is insane. That's awesome. I love you guys. Uh, I got you a present. This is good. Yay! Uh, so, you know you have your event this weekend? Yeah. I wanted to get you a dress for that, uh -huh. uh, but this is too, there was nothing. I think you have to be more subtle for that so this is not that uh i will say buying a dress for a girl this is like one out of ten chance of success here uh <laughs> but we can we can return it um but oh, <laughs> this, this is uh, uh yeah vegas, vegas. oh shit. <laughs> uh, that goes in a safety deposit box tomorrow <laughs> um, and uh, so hold on real quick before you look at this. Uh, people ask about, I remember a couple times we've been at like events and people are like, talk about sports gambling. Um, yeah, 95% uh, of people lose on sports gambling. Yeah. So I don't want to promote that. Um, but uh, yeah, I have my own like system. It's a little bit contrarian, uh, but I have my biggest baseball bet of all time today. Um, oh, it's Saturday. Dodgers Indians, I got the Dodgers, uh, a lot of money. Uh, it starts in like two hours. So hopefully we're going back, hopefully the Dodgers win. Um, yeah, I'm contrarian. Dodgers haven't been playing great. They just fell out of first place. Um, Indians, and then I'm also a statistical, right? Financial advisor, I like to use statistics too. Um, Indians don't hit lefties well. Mm -hmm. Dodgers hit righties well. The matchup's really good, uh, yeah. Huge money on the Dodgers. Go Dodgers. Tubes. Root for the Dodgers. <laughs> the game will be over by the time you see this. But uh, anyway, so we'll have to we'll have yeah. to update. You do not. Uh, two best colors on Missy are blue and green because of your eyes. Yep. And you wear black <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Uh, which is great. You can pull it off. But that's the reason that I went with this one. Thanks. Now, now here I'll take over the camera. <laughs> I uh, just trained. So. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Babe, this is nice. Very hard to pick that dress out. Come on, but. No, this is really nice. Yeah. Your eyes would pop. Wow. Very yeah. pretty. And it's like, it's got a little so bit of So opposite stretch. of what you're wearing. You're wearing like a hoop jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sexy. And it's a medium, so this is going to fit. Hopefully. This is really nice, babe. Yeah. 30 days we can return. Does this match? Does that hair match? Yes. 
Whoa, I might have to wear this then. I don't know. It's pretty like, uh, I thought you said it's not like super formal. I do what I want. <laughs> Oh, but if we go out to dinner or something for like your birthday. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Thanks, babe. Yep. <sighs> Yay! All right, we'll keep you guys posted about this Dodger yeah. game. Let's go Dodgers. Boom. Okie doke, guys. We are heading to Phoenix, Arizona for the Wings of Strength uh, podcast. Um, flying in this evening, and then I'll be there for like the morning ish. Um, from there I'll be heading home and then I have jury duty the next day so right now flights are crazy they keep getting delayed canceled um, my flight has been delayed three times unfortunately so I'm hoping that I can make it back home in time for this jury duty because uh, you know I don't want to miss it um, but yeah we'll uh, pack in light <laughs> just my meals and uh, you know my clothing for the next day but I'm excited for the opportunity you know hopefully I'll be able to see Jake Jake Wood who purchased the Olympia um, yeah that'll be nice nice room Big TV, bed. Wow, good job, Missy. I got no pants on. <laughs> All right, tubes. You know I do a swan dive on the bed. <laughs> ah. All right, well, that's the room for you guys. <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted. Uh, so I'm gonna hit the hay. Uh, catch you guys in the morning. And then uh, they're doing my makeup at the Wings of Strength, so I didn't even bring any makeup with me. I packed very light. Like, I took Matt's, like, overnight bag, like, when he goes on, like, oh, work trips and stuff. Like, I packed so light. I'm glad I did because if I would have had to wait around for a check bag at 1030, that would have sucked. And honestly, I'm usually in bed at, like, 8 o'clock, so... I mean, it's way past my bedtime. But anyways, I'm ready to hit the bed. Catch you guys in the morning. One thing I wanted to show you guys, and I forgot, um, like the last couple times I've been traveling, is when you stay in hotel rooms, especially for me, like um, I get kind of anxious like without having Matt here. So like, cause we have like a sleeping routine, right? Um, so obviously like I bring my eye mask to like black everything out. But one thing I've been doing is I'll take like a towel or like whatever, a blanket, and then I'll put it right here on the door because it kind of will muffle out people slamming their doors because no one gives a shit in a hotel. They just bang and slam the door like at all hours of the freaking morning. So. I've been doing that and it works really well. So, uh, got my laptop out there. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Office, a couple minutes, and then just fall asleep because, yeah, I'm tired. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. We're uh, heading down to do some cardio. Got a sugar free Red Bull. Uh, not, not really a fan of these, but there's nothing else. Um, I'm exhausted, did not sleep at all. But my back is killing me, so I gotta like walk it out or something. So let's go do that. This looks awesome. It's like a sports center. Yes, it's uh, and it's only seventy percent done. Wow. Meaning that we don't have all our lights in. Soundproofing is not all there. Yep. It is. It works. Yes. Yeah. I'm never on camera. So <laughs> you got lucky. You're doing great. Oh, look at me on the. Hello. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's a wrap. Finished up at the Wings of Strength. Just got to the uh, airport. 
uh, flying out a little bit earlier just because I have jury duty tomorrow. So I want to make sure that I'm going to be home in time. And uh, with like Delta, I don't know, flights keep getting delayed. I guess they're just like understaffed and stuff. So going to get home early. Um, really excited to see Matt and to celebrate my birthday on Friday. So that'll be good. We'll uh, bring you guys along for like the, you know, the YouTube uh, weekly vlog. And uh, right now I just got a little bit of steak and rice. Garlicky. That's the, uh, I, I pan fried it before I left and I put the butcher sauce from Flavor Gangs on it. Um, what else? Got a little rice there and yeah, I don't know, just ready to get home. I'm feeling pretty tired now, so I'll uh, catch you guys in a bit here.